Hey, hello friend, welcome to back. Uh, welcome back to this video. Uh, this is the fourth part of System Center Configuration Manager and the last part we have done some troubleshooting for the connectivity. Yeah, it was results great thing. Uh, don't worry, same thing we you can do your lab and moment while you practice. Okay, don't worry about you can you know uh, Google is there so you can find out the solution not an issue. It's not a big deal. Right. Okay, so uh, here uh, what we have done as per this diagram we have uh, created two server right and given the ip and name and this part is done only and also we have done the ip configuration done and the firewall see the second point i have written but i have not done that's not that's what it was not being able not an issue so turn off windows firewall this is the second thing and now this is time to install the active directory so let's go to dc right this is the dc right and for checking the host name also you can type host name simple you will get right okay so first thing to create the dc what are the prerequisites you will do to create that is first i'm telling first give the proper name right once you create the dc you cannot change it remember this thing and second thing whenever create the dc the ip should be a static it's not be, not a dynamic okay it should be a static which we already done right let's go how we create the uh, active directory simple nothing here uh, i just unping it okay so here this uh, tool is there right in tool the different services are there you can check you know all the services if you want right and here manage option is there add roles and feature otherwise if you not want to do here if you go to the dashboard i'll show here the option add roles and features okay so just click over here I will get this wizard and you also will get the wizard do the next and it's a role based feature based installation on remote desktop services so i don't want to install the remote right this is the my best machine i mean uh, machines i want to install here only this is the role based right so click the next so select server or virtual hard disk and which to install roles and feature select server from the server pool or select virtual yes if there is a four five server in the lot of, lot of server you can options but this is one server only I'll let choose right not an issue do the next and here the roles are came right which role we want to install that is the active directory domain service not the certificate service careful guys domain services and what are the features are there it automatically is saying these features are required you need to be installed you need to be add so add feature correct then click the next okay and after you know even there is a features there but the, there are different features also came if you required you can choose if you not not so i don't know required as of now so click the next click the next and the confirmation what the confirmation is doing here you can choose yes if required it can restart right active directory domain service group policy management remote so these things will be installed okay not an issue click the install and it started the installation of active directory domain services okay i think most of the people here know about the active direct okay first prerequisites of uh, ccm is active directory without active directory ccm i think nothing its value is nothing right तुम्हारे पास गाड़ी है लेकिन पेट्रोल नहीं तो क्या होगा नहीं चलेगा राइट तो सेम थिंग इफ एसी सी एम एक्टिव डिरेक्शन होता है हाउ कैन यू मैनेज हाउ टू डू द सेंट्रल थिंग सेंट्रल यू नो मैनेज ऑब्जेक्ट राइट सो इट इज वेरी नेसेसरी टू डू सो इट विल टेक यू नो फ्यू टाइम्स लाइक फ्यू मिनट्स टू इंस्टॉल द एक्टिव डिरेक्टर डिपेंडिंग डिपेंडिंग अपन योर कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ योर सर्वर ओके या इट स्टार्टेड installation is started if you close it also you can see here if you you know if you close this thing also here is notification is there you can see this is the best you know uh, graphical interface and the console view of SEC, i mean server 20 it's a really uh, big announcement from the microsoft you can believe it if you compare 2000 to all it's a very big and very new features everything is there okay uh, definitely it will take uh, time uh, to install um within that uh, uh, i just pause this video once the installation will complete and i will come back to you okay uh hi uh now let's see whether the installation is completed or not yes uh installation succeed on sccm dc i mean installation is done right correct right so just close it 
close uh yeah wait something like uh, do the press yeah it will refresh one second if refresh is if you look at this thing again the notification is came right here if you click the notification yes configuration required for active directory domain services service at ssmdc see post deployment configuration is required what is that yeah features is installed but still it is not as a dc it will not work as a dc for that you need to promote as a dc promote as a domain controller so click here otherwise another option is there if you cancel it also another option is there go to the run command type dc pr o m o promo sorry i'm sorry a uh, wrong dc promo pr mo what promote pr o m yes right this through this command also you can do it press ok it will start the wizard let's close that not required i think will take time oh no worried also you can click over here also that will come here also you can get right so if you look at this wizard here the target server is sccm dc1 this server right so there are three options a domain control to existing domain but we don't have existing domain right add a new domain control to existing forest we don't have existing for add a new forest right this is a new forest right what domain uh, name we will give let's give mylab.com okay it's mylab.com next Uh, it will take some time you know um, to check the domain name is correct or not uh, the functional level and domain functional there is a two functional level one is forest level functional level and domain level level functional level. if you want to know about the functional level you need to watch my earlier videos of active directory then you can know that about the functional level. but this is not right time to explain about this thing because this video is for the SCCM 2012 I mean system center configuration 2012 okay D no worry uh, here the domain name server you if you want to make as a DNS you can do it I I think uh, the beginning of this video I told you this server um, Act as a domain control as well as DNS, right? So let it be and uh, Yes, and here it asking the password for the uh, type the directory services restore more password, right? That is a different thing you need to know that about the directory service restore password, but uh, not for this thing this is the different part of active directory uh, you can see my video uh, earlier video so you can get to know that okay so give the password which is very security I mean uh, very uh, what secure and very confidential right so I don't think uh, okay Let's do the next say delegation of DNS server cannot be created because the authoritative parent zone cannot be found correct cannot be found right because there is no DNS things are there right earlier configuration this is the first server I am configuring right that's what so it's no word don't worry I do the next it's very varying the net virus name which we given that what net virus name we are given SCCM that's DC1 and it's very very net virus name and uh, it's mylab.com but domain name is mylab right next so very uh, it's not a easy to understand the active directory but uh, it's not a very difficult to understand also okay oh I need to okay not an issue do the next what I have done it will show you like uh, Verified the prerequisite domain control promotion field DNS service are required to proceed complete DNS client configuration before you proceed Open more prerequisite fields Okay, so what one more prerequisite field please fix the issue see more One more prerequisite field please fix this issue and click rerun which uh, things uh, Because field is which one more about prerequisites. No, I don't want 
yeah let me check what prerequisites is uh, verification prerequisites of domain controller fail dna service are required to proceed complete the dns client configuration before you proceed okay previous go to the back what we have uh, mistaken here nothing right go to the back back my left okay oh then that's okay no dns domain name system dns so it's okay i let me give them the correct password maybe okay take the next deletion option a deletion for the dns cannot be created because the authority parent gen cannot be found it's okay no because we don't have existing dns all right this is the my first dns on the first dc then click the next and advice name it's fine correct yeah this is the database ntds folder and ntds is volume folder it's correct and uh, configure it's my love in 2012 2012 r2 all these things are correct kdns is no no we have to be rerun the prerequisites uh, what is this one more prerequisite fail uh, please fix this issue and click recheck okay for that we need to cancel it okay it's cancel it okay uh, do a thing okay add new domain and existing forest a domain control to an existing domain add a new forest correct no let me give uh, my company dot com okay do the next give the password okay done Deletion for the DNS or cannot be created because the authority parent cannot be found or it does not run Windows DNS server. If you integrating with the existing DNS infrastructure, you should manually create the delegation of DNS server in the parent gen to ensure reliable name registration from the outside the domain. Dot com. Otherwise, no action is required. No action is required. Then click no. Next. Oh, let me check. Let me check here. Go to the here. If you remember, I checked the DNS, right? Uh, here. Let me give the DNS 192.168.1.2 because the server will act as a DNS, right? Close it. Close it. Do the next. My company. name database now it will create yes next next i think it will resolve it will resolve yes yes this was the turn mystic see when we started it should be act as a dns server so we need to give the ip address right dns that we didn't do that so that is what we care about it we will we need to taking care about those things okay fully clear about it, so it should not become right click the next so we details operation result okay then it will be automatically restart right 
if you remember when I started the installation activity directory at that time I select options while complete if required then reboot it all right yeah let's wait uh, for some time uh, you know for it's installing DNS to finish you should see right and I started the installation of DNS good yet it's done uh, you people also know you can practice your own lab you can create your own lab so it will helpful you you know clear understanding because uh, without practice if you watch only the videos it's not a great thing but yes you can watch the video and practice uh, definitely will help you okay let's wait for some time uh, to complete installation uh, okay so once the active directory part done then we will go to the uh, SCCM 01 where we need to be uh, do all the prerequisites okay let's complete this uh, part yeah yes there's so many things are there if you look at no or oh, you will get to know right it is installing still it is in progress And it's a very good thing, no? And I mean, Server 2012 also giving the better console, you know. Very, you know, it's looking very pretty, yeah. Right? Ah, yeah. Now it's about to sign out. The computer is being restarted because the Activity Domain Service was installed or removed. Okay, now it's not removed; it's installed, closed. And now it will automatically restart. See, it's restarted. Or oh, this is restart now. It's ready to, you know, log in. Okay. So thank you very much for watching this video and uh, once the server will be restart we will uh, come back again and we will log in the server and we'll uh, do all these things okay so see you on the next video thank you